The Airbus A380 is a legendary aircraft, on par with the A320 and the Boeing 747. Having left its mark on aviation history through its advances, performance and technological innovations, but also through its size, pushing back the limits of physics. But before reaching this point, Airbus went through several difficult months to prove to the world that its newborn A380 was reliable, safe, and met the expectations of its many customer airlines. Its many trials took place during the flight test campaign. On April 27, 2005, the very first Airbus A380 took off for the very first time in front of the cameras and the eyes of the whole world. This maiden flight marked the start of the flight test campaign to certify the aircraft. For many, it was the A380 MSN-001, alias FWWOW, that carried out the entire campaign. But it was not the only prototype built. In all, five prototypes were built. Why so many? Initially, shortly after the launch of the program in the mid-1990s, the official duration of the test flight campaign was to be between 13 and 14 months of testing. In the end, the campaign lasted more than 20 months due to delays in the manufacture of the A380 MSN2 and 4. Of these 20 months of testing, not all could have been carried out on one aircraft, as this would have taken far too long to certify the aircraft and entry into service would have been delayed by several years. So a total of five test aircraft were built, allowing the test to be spread out over several aircraft and thus being more efficient. The A380 flight test campaign was initially carried out with four aircraft equipped with Rolls-Royce engines, two without cabins and with heavy flight test instruments for basic technological development and certification, two with fully installed cabins, the last arrived after basic certification, in order to validate all the options requested by the customers and the systems supplied by the various suppliers. Before the first aircraft flew, there was the MSN 5000, the very first A380 fuselage assembled to test the strength and fatigue of the airframe, an important step in the certification of the aircraft. The first aircraft produced, the MSN 001, was registered FWWOW. It was first used to confirm that the five years of theoretical studies had been reliable. It first opened up the flight envelope by exploring the aircraft's behavior, stall speed, turning behavior, maximum speed, low speeds, flight ceiling, etc., and by marking out the limits of the flight envelope into which airline pilots would not be able to venture. It was also used at the Istris base in July 2005 and March 2006 to carry out the VMU, Velocity Minimum Unstick Test. This is the absolute minimum speed at which an aircraft can take off. It is obtained by pitching up the aircraft to the maximum during takeoff roll. Also at Istris in October 2005, FWWOW carried out the water trough test. The water trough test consists of making the aircraft pass along a flooded surface in order to demonstrate the robustness of the aircraft and to ensure its maturity as soon as it is put into service by checking that the water does not cause any damage to the aircraft or enter the engines when passing through at high speed. The second aircraft to be built and flown was the A380 MSN-004 FWWDD for double-decker. MSN-004 was dedicated to measuring the performance of the A380 and to the development of the Rolls-Royce Trent 900 engines and flew for the first time on October 18, 2005. MSN-004 began with a three-week comprehensive cruise performance evaluation. An in-depth evaluation of low-speed performance was carried out in November and December 2005. It also carried out a campaign in hot weather and at a high altitude in Medellin, as well as a campaign in cold weather in Ikawi. These extreme weather tests verified the A380's ability to operate nominally in all weathers and to be used everywhere in the world. MSN-004 has also validated the airport compatibility checks test to assess whether the aircraft can be accommodated at the world's major airports and also to ensure that ground operations, de-icing, baggage loading, refueling, gangways, and equipment specific to the A380, triple gangway, catering loading on the second floor are carried out as planned. An initial test took place in Frankfurt, followed by London Heathrow and Singapore Changji. 
The MSN-004 has also been used extensively to promote the A380 to its airline customers, notably at the world's major air shows, and has carried the livery and titles of Emirates, Singapore Airlines, Lufthansa, and Etihad, in addition to a full white livery and the usual Airbus corporate livery. The A380 MSN-002 was the third A380 to fly and to be used in the flight test campaign. It stood out from its predecessors by weighing 275 tons more than the production version when empty, and by the addition of a commercial cabin with seats in several classes. Through the technical route proving campaign, lasting 300 hours, MSN-002 was able to put the aircraft's interior fittings and comfort to the test on very long flights as if it was already in service. It has flown from Toulouse to Beijing, Seoul, Narita, Hong Kong, Shanghai, Incheon, Canton, Singapore, Johannesburg, Sydney, and Vancouver. The A380 MSN-007 then joined the flight test fleet with its first test flight on February 19, 2006. It was used for an impressive cabin evacuation test on March 26, 2006. The aircraft was fitted with the maximum cabin density on the A380, with 853 passengers selected at random and 20 crew members. It will also have carried out endurance flights with a cabin in commercial configuration like MSN-002. On August 25, 2006, the A380 MSN-009, the fifth and final aircraft to join the test fleet, made its maiden flight powered by Engine Alliance GP7200 engines. This test enabled the Engine Alliance engines to be certified on the A380. EASA and the FAA issued flight certificates for the A380-841, Trent 97-84 or 97B-84, and A380-842, Trent 972-84 or 972B-84, all on December 12, 2006. The A380-861, GP7270, obtained its certificate on December 14, 2007. The route verification campaign carried out by the A380 MSN-002 was the final element of flight certification, completed on November 30, 2006. The A380 obtained its type certificate on December 12, 2006, issued by EASA and the FAA. In total, around 2,200 flight hours were flown for the initial certification. This figure includes flight hours flown as part of a commercial tour. Throughout its test campaign, the A380 has proved its exceptional flying qualities and comfort. Exceptional handling qualities confirmed by airline pilots who flew the aircraft, as well as cruise performance in line with expectations and remarkable low-speed performance, which is the current standard in the sector. In addition, the aircraft's external noise levels are higher than promised, its cabin comfort sets the industry standard, and it has the quietest cockpit in the sky. The chapter in the birth of the A380 will come to an end with the delivery of the very first aircraft to Singapore Airlines, the A380 MSN-003 9V SKA on October 12, 2007. In summary, the Airbus A380 flight test campaign involved multiple prototypes to efficiently conduct a comprehensive range of tests, ensuring the aircraft's reliability, safety, and compliance with customer expectations. The campaign lasted over 20 months and involved various tests including performance evaluations, extreme weather tests, cabin evacuation tests, and more. The A380 obtained its type certificate in December 2006 and its exceptional flying qualities and comfort have left a significant mark on the aviation industry.